All right, um, this is a follow-up video <clears throat> for the um, China Copy Radiator um, that I installed. Um, look, this is... Um, I was never expecting big things from this radiator, but um, anyway. Oh, this is my, my bleed valve. I don't know if I showed you that in a previous video. Um, basically, obviously, you know, this is a high point here and this is a high point here. Uh, we've got a low point down here, so what's going to happen, obviously, is we're going to get water caught down the bottom there and water caught in here, and there's going to be an air pocket up here. Um, but anyway, that's what this was for. This was just to bleed out whatever air was left over. Um, look, it actually cools quite well. I'm, I'm actually quite impressed with um, with the overall performance. Um, like it did, it did come out quite well. Um, after after driving, like the car does get up to temperature. Um, it does take, I'd say, a little bit longer to get up to temperature. But after you finish driving, you, you normally can't put your hand on your intake manifold. Um, and it is a lot cooler. Like I understand that that the um, that the intercooler is gonna gonna add to that as well. But in saying that, even my hot pipe on the intercooler, even even this pipe here, um, when you put your hand on it um, after it's been running, it's it's not hot. Not not like it used to be. It used to be so hot that you couldn't you couldn't put your hand on it. You would burn your hand. Um, which I don't I don't know whether or not that's a that's a normal thing for. Um, for, um, for series eights, um, look. Anyway, overall, all in all, I'm, I'm not impressed with the uh, with the radiator, but I'm also not not completely disappointed. Like it's it's all right, and um, I mean it will be replaced again, so there's no big deal. But um, yeah, it actually came out all right. Uh, my inner cooler piping uh, has been powder coated black. I've got a powder coater, so I managed to um, to powder coat my own um, my own inner cooler pipes. Um, I just did them a satin. Uh, satin black instead of a sort of a full gloss, um, and that's that's pretty much it. I actually powder coated my um, my Blitz. Um, I don't know if you can see it down there, but it's a Blitz um, uh, front mount in a cooler as well. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, that's right. During the um, the course of um, installing this radiator, I actually um, got some plastic braided um, um, some plastic braid for um, for, for these. Uh, the fans, the thermo fans, and um, anyway, they needed to be extended. Um, that was just because of the, um, the length of the wires. Anyway, thanks, guys. Okay, um, I think I actually got distracted there. Um, look, the China Copy Radiator is 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 quite good. Um, there's no questioning whether or not the the, the temperature of the the Operating temperature of the vehicle has dropped. Um, there's no questioning that. It definitely has dropped. I don't know by how much. Um, also, the bay, uh, the engine bay temperatures have also dropped. They um, they would be probably, I don't have a gauge to actually tell me, but I would say the bay's ambient temperature is at least 15 degrees cooler, um, at least. Um, it's a big difference. It's a massive difference. When you open up underneath that bonnet, uh, you can actually physically tell that it is uh, that much cooler. Um, anyway, so, I mean, it, it is a China radiator. It is a copy again. Um, and they're always copies of, of, of something good. Now, usually when you buy China, you buy twice because you're going to buy your Chinese copy. It's not going to fit. You're going to have problems with it. Something's going to happen and you're going to end up on replacing it with a genuine copy anyway, a uh, genuine um, item anyway. It doesn't matter what you buy. Most of the time, if you go and buy a cheap... Um, manifold or something for, for a different different style engine. You're going to buy a cheap intake China copy manifold. You're going to find out it's porous, it leaks, whatever. Um, you're then going to go and buy a genuine one. Um, you think you're going to save yourself money, but in the end you end up on spending twice as much. Now, this is a radiator. Um, I'm not, uh, what's that word called? Not, uh, not disappointed. Uh, hang on. <laughs> I'm not impressed with it, but I'm also not disappointed with it. So, it's it's done its job and it has done it quite well. I was disappointed with the fact that I had to modify it before I even put it in the car. Now, bear in mind that obviously mine is standing up. I, I've moved my radiator, I've moved everything, um, my condenser, and I've got a front mount on there. So this is something that that for me I would have to modify anyway. Um, um, yeah. It, it would be, it's just more the things with like the fan mount, something which is very basic, very simple, which they shouldn't get wrong. They got, they got wrong. Um, I mean, it is a copy and like 
how critical can you be as to when you're paying, let's say, $170 for a radiator or opposed to a, a, a genuine radiator looking at probably around 600 um, 600 upwards, probably closer to closer to a thousand for for a decent radiator for actually for a good brand radiator. Um, I mean, it is good. Um, I don't mind it. Um, bear in mind, I mean, if it leaks or or something happens, um, temperatures like hot temperatures and rotary engines really don't don't mix too well. I mean, they already run run hot as it is, so. I mean, I, I don't know if I would run one. Definitely on a piston-driven car, um, I would definitely say you could could quite happily run one. I mean, you, you get a piston-driven car a little bit hotter than usual, and it's it's, it's generally all right, but rotaries, you tend to break. Um, again, like it is my opinion, um, I don't mind my radiator. Um, I can tell the temperature have, has dropped, um, and uh, look, it's it's driving all right. It's It seems fine. Even went for a um, for a mountain run um, up Mount uh, Mount Glorious um, in Queensland, and um, that temperature had um, even once I got to the top and I popped the bonnet, I could still actually touch and hold my intake manifold. Uh, now I wasn't I wasn't thrashing it, um, so I wasn't forcing air through the radiator more than anything. I would have been heat soaking and actually um, increasing my bay temperature. If, if anything, because I was driving quite slow, it was just a nice slow cruise up there. <clears throat> um, yeah, so anyway, uh, I mean, that's just my my input of it. I figured I'd put a follow-up video because I didn't actually uh, tell you guys how it went after I actually put it in the car. Um, and I'm not disimpressed with it, so it's it's all right. It, it, it's done its job and it does it all right. It does it well. Um, for what it is, it does it well. Cheers.